Hi friends, welcome to the Mighty Jungle. I'm so glad you guys are here today. Me too! Today we're going to explore the jungle and God's Word. It's going to be so much fun! <laughs> You're right, Fredward. We are going to be learning about what it means to be faithful here in the jungle. We'll hear a story, sing and dance, and even make a craft. Oh! What if we start off all the fun by playing a game? Oh, I love games. That sounds great, Fredward. Okay, this is a guessing game. I'm thinking of a jungle animal. I'm going to give you three clues, and then let's see if you can guess what animal I'm thinking about. Okay, Fredward, I'm ready. This animal is brown. It has a long tail, and it likes to eat bananas. What hmm. animal do you think it is? Well, Fredward, if it's brown, has a long tail, and likes to eat bananas, well, obviously it's a monkey. <laughs> You know a song about monkeys? No! I know a song about bananas! And you do too, Owen! Remember? <gasps> I do remember this song! Fredward, let's sing it together! Let's yeah! Dance. Here we go! One, two, three! Feel bananas! Feel, feel bananas! Slice bananas! Slice, slice bananas! Eat bananas! Eat, eat bananas! Go bananas! Go, go bananas! <laughs> that was so much fun, Fredward. Great guessing, friends. I think it's time to see what our other jungle friends are up to. So let's get their attention with your silliest banana eating monkey sounds. Try it with me on the count of three, friends. One, two, three! <laughs> Well, hi friends, welcome to the jungle. Me and Miss Kristen, we're just coming to check out the story tree. It's so cool. Look up at the top of the tree. Do you see all of the books? It's a tree that's full of stories. <laughs> well, hey there, Fredward. Yeah, we were just showing all of our friends the story tree. Hey, do you want to help us show them the best thing about the story tree? Oh, yeah. Can you help us with the cheer? Oh, I would love to. Which, Which book is the very best? The Bible. The Bible. Which book is the very best? The Bible. The Bible. The Bible. Whoa. <laughs> I wonder what's inside. Well, let's find out. <laughs> okay. <gasps> it's a picture. Oh, oh uh, there's something else too. What is it? <gasps> it's <gasps> the Bible. Of course it's the Bible. Guys, it's the very best book. Hey, I'm gonna go find some of our other jungle friends. Huh, I wonder what King Lionel is up to. Have fun with your story. Bye. <laughs> Bye, Fred. Bye, Fredward. Well, did you hear all those strange noises? I, I wonder what that was. Me too. I think it's gone now, whatever it was. So uh, let's see if we can figure out what our story is. Well, well, it's a picture of a person. Well, There's so many people in the Bible, though. I think this is Elijah. We can find his stories in the book of 1 Kings in the Bible. Oh, yeah. Here it is. Well, uh, there's that sound again. I am the king of the jungle, and I am ready for a king-sized feast. Well, hello, King Lionel. Is that your tummy we've been hearing? I wondered what that rumbling was. Oh, it has been grumbling and rumbling all day. But I'm worried that I would eat all the food in the jungle if I started eating. <laughs> well, I don't know that you could eat an entire jungle up, but it's funny that you should mention not having enough to eat. I was actually just getting ready to tell a story about a time when Elijah was starting to run out of food. I shall stay and listen then. Maybe it will keep my mind off my rumbling tummy. Friends, things were not going well for God's people in this story. God's people were in hiding because Queen Jezebel wanted to get rid of them. Now, Elijah was a prophet, one of God's special messengers. God had promised to provide for Elijah. He'd used birds to bring him food while he hid for a whole entire year. Elijah had been getting water to drink from a little creek, but after a year, it dried up. With no rain for a year, it was only a matter of time before Elijah ran out of water. 
And I don't think those birds could carry water in their beaks very well. Well, no, that doesn't sound like a good plan to me either. Thankfully, God had another plan. God told Elijah to go back to Jezebel's hometown. There, he would find a widow to give him food and water. Now, this sounded a little strange to Elijah because a widow was a woman whose husband had died. Women couldn't work very much in these days, so widows were often very poor and had trouble buying enough food to eat. If God is sending Elijah to a widow, I'm sure she will be able to provide for him. I think you're right, King Lionel. Elijah went to where God had told him, and sure enough, he found a widow gathering sticks. He asked her for some water and bread, but the widow was worried. I don't have any bread, only a little flour and oil. I'm collecting this wood so that I can bake my son and I our last loaf of bread. But Elijah trusted in God's promises. He told the widow, go and make your bread, but first make a loaf for me. God has promised that the flour and the oil will not be used up until the day it finally rains. And surely that's what happened. <laughs> You're right. Every time they made bread, there was always a little flour and a little oil left over. God provided for Elijah, just like he said he would. God was with Elijah. Sometimes it can be hard to trust God when we're scared. But God is faithful to his people, even when we are afraid. He might not send birds to bring us food or miraculously help us to have flour and oil for bread, but he promises to be with us even through the scary things. God is with his people. <laughs> Speaking of food, I better do something about this tummy of mine before I scare the whole jungle. Farewell, loyal subjects. <laughs> Farewell, King Lionel. That was such an awesome story of God's faithfulness. Elijah was facing some really scary things, but God was with Elijah and provided for him the whole time. That's right. When we say God is faithful, it means that God is who he says he is and will do what he says he will do. Every time? <laughs> yep, every time. God is with his people. He is faithful even when we are afraid. Wow, that is so amazing. Elijah must have really had to trust God's faithfulness. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> well, it looks like it's time to go over to the Time Vine. Friends, come with us. Friends, this is the Time Vine. It helps us remember what we've learned and see when those true stories actually happen. <laughs> That's right. Elijah's story can be found in the book of First Kings. That's right, <laughs> over here. <laughs> Hey, it sounds like this was a scary time for God's people. You're right, Ethan. This was a time when God's people were ruled by some of the worst kings and queens ever. Those kings and queens didn't follow God and they didn't like people who did. It was a very scary time to be one of God's people, but God is with his people. He's faithful even when we're afraid. Well, hey, that sounds like a verse from the book of Isaiah. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. Isaiah 41.10. <laughs> That's the perfect verse. Friends, can you try it with us? So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. Isaiah 41.10. <laughs> Great job, friends. Let's do our special poem and pray to thank God for being faithful. Hey, Ethan. Should we sing it? Let's sing it. <laughs> open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Lay them in your lap, lap, lap. Let's pray. God, we thank you so much that you are with your people. That even when we face things that are sad or scary, that you are faithful, that you are with us. Help all of my friends to trust in you and your faithfulness, even when they are afraid. It's in your awesome name that we pray, amen. All right, friends, get on your feet. It's time to sing and dance. I get scared sometimes, so I cover my eyes. But that's so silly, cause God is always
That's so silly. Cause God is always with me. So I stand up tall. Stand up tall. Remember he is strong. He is strong. I won't be afraid. Be afraid. God is always with me. Fear. Fear. Get out of here. Fear. Fear. Get out of here now. Fear. Fear. Get out of here. Get out of here for good. I'll see you later. See you, see you later. I'll see you later. See you, see you later. See you later, alligator. See you, see you later. I'll see you later. See you, see you later. See you later, alligator. I don't need to be afraid no more. No. Afraid no more. No. God, I'm yours. I don't need to be afraid no more. No. Afraid no more. No. God, I'm yours. I don't really need to be afraid no more. No. Afraid no more. No. God, I'm yours. I don't really need to be afraid no more. No. Afraid no more. No. God, I'm yours. Fear. Get out of here. Fear. Get out of here now. Fear. Get out of here. Get out of here for good. Hannah and this is Miss Katie. Welcome back to Crafty Corner! Since today we learned about God being faithful to Elijah, Miss Katie and I thought it would be so much fun to make cloud dough! For this craft you might need a grown-up to help you out a little bit but it's pretty easy and it might be a little messy but all you need is a big bowl, a spatula, some cornstarch and some hair conditioner. Let's get started by adding about two cups of cornstarch. We're actually gonna add all of our cornstarch. All right, so we have our cornstarch in, and now you're going to add about half as much conditioner as you added of the cornstarch. All right, Katie, I'm gonna add the conditioner and you stir, got it? <laughs> Friends, make sure you mix really well or else it won't really turn into cloud dough. Friends, in the end, it should look kinda like this, and it will be a little messy, so watch out. But reminder that this reminds us of our story of Elijah and God providing for him. The widow and her son only had a little bit of flour and a little bit of oil, but it never ran out every time they made dough for bread. That is such an awesome story and a great reminder of God's faithfulness. Friends, we'll see you next time back in Crafty Corner. Bye, friends! Friends, I hope you enjoyed exploring God's Word today. The story of Elijah is such a great reminder that God is faithful. God is who He says He is, and He will do what He says He will do. To learn more about God's faithfulness with us, be sure to have your grown-ups subscribe to our channel. We'll see you guys next time.